Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Buy Your Time Back. It is June 7th. Another beautiful day. I'm actually eyeing a potential long um, to the upside right now. Um, That could all change once a 10 o'clock hour roll around. But right now, I'm a little bit long biased. So I'm really just waiting to see how this 25 range candle close and how, and you know, what, what kind of what kind of price action we get within the 25 range and a five minute um, chart for a potential continuation up. I'm looking for that confirmation before I take a long trade. And as always, if you appreciate the content, please like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, leave, leave some 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 pleasant comments so we can keep this you know this thing going. It looks like we're gonna get this continuation up, but I just don't know if I'm seeing the volume had a crazy spike on the previous twenty five range candle, so I'm not sure if I'm seeing continuation volume or stop in volume so I'm going to let the candle develop some more because this could be stop in volume we keep re- we keep rejecting you know close to this 4300 level once we initially cracked it it got to like 4305 since then we've just been rejecting of the level so I'm a little hesitant here and in, in like, hey, is this, what kind of volume is this that, that I'm seeing here that spiked? Um, but, you know, let's, I'm not going to rush it. Let's slow things down. The market just opened. It's only been four minutes since the U.S. session started. You know, as always, be patient, be vigilant. All right? Every day is a trading day, but not every day is a day that you're going to take a trade. Um, so until then, I'm going to go mute and let's see what price action do. All right, y'all. So still keeping an eye on price. Obviously, you would have seen the move up. We definitely got our five points that we typically look for in each trade. We would have definitely made it. The entry would have obviously been somewhere between 42.97 and 42.96. Somewhere between there would have been the entry. And we would have got the full, the fill. The way how this candle closed at 9.32, ah, I saw a spike in volume. I wasn't sure what kind of volume it was. Is it stopping volume? Is it lifting volume? So I sat out. Better save than Sorry. Because I also know that the area that we were we we're in now, uh, there's a lot of sell, selling going on. We kept we keep rejecting heavily in this area, so I decided to play it safe. I mean, right now on the one hour, they're very buyers are very bullish. 
So I don't know if there's going to be a ceiling where we just keep retesting it. Maybe take another long to the area. But I'm just take I'm just I'm just being patient today. I'm not looking to rush anything. Um, I didn't get to trade yesterday. I had, had some things to do. I did trade Monday, which was a good good trade in day. That video is out. Yesterday was a, a no trade day for me. Today we back at it, and we're just gonna be patient and you know see see how the market develop. So hang back, stay vigilant. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> I'm looking to get long at 4,300. I'm looking to get short at 4,290. Um, I'm, I'm, I like the long because my one hour is showing that it still want to be bullish. On my 25 range, this 1005 candle, I have positive diversions. So that's why I'm looking to get long at 4,300 to retest the highs. Um, or get short at 42.90. So let's hang back and see how price develops around that those two uh, price uh, points.
All right. So we got one trade in for the day. That one was successful. Um, I think my initial bias to the upside based on this 1005 candle um, was somewhat skewed and, and wrong. Um, I gotta track what I'm what I'm what I what I'm what I saw on the on the close of the nine o'clock hour. I'm I'm gonna track this setup for future reference. Um But I ended up taking the short, and I took the short because of this 10-15 candle, right? So when you saw, you saw I was in the trade, and you saw we pulled down, you saw we start to pull back up. As we start to pull back up, I didn't want to get choked out of the trade. I, I, at that point, I, I trusted the down move based on what I was seeing on the, the five-minute chart on your right-hand side. I saw everything was pointing down. So I went ahead because the the trade was based off of this fifth, the ten fifteen candle on the twenty five range chart. I moved my stop up right above that candle, um, and allowed the trade to get the fill. So I'm gonna hang out until eleven, see how the ten o'clock one hour candle close. If it close the way I like it for a one hour reversal. I'll stay and I'll take a trade in my life. If not, this will be my last trade on the day. And then we'll just wrap the video up at 11 o'clock today. So hang back and let's see how the, this current one hour candle close. All right, y'all. It is 11.06 and we're gonna call it a day. Um, another decent day, we took a short. Um, at 4290, got the fill at 4285. Price got as low as 4278 and a half. I do like a move back to the upside for the 11 o'clock hour. It's probably going to be a little bit choppy on the way back up, kind of like the move we had to the downside for the 10 o'clock hour. Um, I'm not going to stick around and try and, and, and trade it. So I'm happy with the one trade today. You know, practice makes perfect, and that's what we do every day. Um, so until next time, stay blessed, hang with the best, and we'll be back at it, y'all.